what is up everyone welcome back to our channel inside python and welcome back to the second episode of the instagram bot series in the previous video we learned how to configure the gecko driver and selenium and that all uh, but from now on we will be really getting on the meat so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel now so in today's video we're going to be talking about how to log in into an instagram account with python using selenium and gecko driver in the background so now before i move on i want you all to follow our instagram page inside python for more interesting python uh interesting python tips and tricks yeah i can say that uh just follow it on instagram the link will be down in the description now moving on uh let us open our pycharm so i will be using the pycharm id uh you can use whatever you want so here I'm on my Python ID. So let's create a new file, a new Python file. Uh, say login.py. Okay. Login.py. Now I think the text is clear. Let me uh, go into the presentation mode just so that you can see full. So enter presentation mode. So now first of all you need to import web driver from the Selenium. So write it in a bit of that format sorry uh, selenium in, from selenium import web driver okay now the next thing you want to import is a time module of python so did that now as now create a driver object by and assign it to the driver variable by doing this web driver dot firefox so we will be using firefox here okay let me tell you so we did that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a function a function named login a function because we are gonna log in into instagram the username and the password okay now as easy as that press a colon now we now it is much like requ the request module in python so driver dot get then we have to paste the instagram's url so i will type it or let me copy it because we will be so just go here uh, sorry just wait a sec uh, hmm. so i have to exit the presentation mode now now go to the browser and type uh, instagram and now copy this url from here and uh, paste it under quotes in this section driver don't get now it might take some time for the selenium to open that uh, to open that url so give it some time to sleep i'm not sleep for two seconds and then again come here now we're gonna be taking elements into variables and then doing some actions on it so we'll be taking elements by xpath now what is xpath just go to the documentation and search there so now the username entry will have it and for that type find element by xpath now go to instagram and inspect elements here uh, sorry for that the inspect element option and then click on this side okay click on this and now as i go in this so just click on this username thing and come here and copy the xpath simple uh you copied the xpath now paste it under quotes over here okay now you got the user uh, username entry here so now just clear everything in it this function will clear everything because if there is previously something so it will automatically get cleared now send some keys to it send keys now usr now as you can see we are obtaining this usr from here a function will take values but uh, i think i have to change the name here because it might cause some problem because both of the variables are of same name so i'm just changing it okay we did that so we got the username entry now we have to get the password entry so do the same for this also driver dot find element by xpath and uh, go here to the passwords option and uh, again click on this thing and it will just click and copy its xpath so this is how we generally copy xpath so you should know this thing now copy it under quotes and then 
uh, again clear this password entry uh, again clear it clear uh, sorry I think I should I did something bad here pass int and then clear it out and then in the next line uh, again in the next line uh, you should send keys here send keys the PSS keys will take it from the here so we got that as an argument now after that we have to click on the login item login button actually so we will be again finding that element by xpath pasting on codes now copy it from here click here now uh, sorry uh, wait Uh, sorry for the interruption. So just uh, go to and click on this login thing, and you will copy it from here. So copy the XPath out from here, and then paste it again under codes. So we did that. Paste it under codes, and then go to the next line, and write login dot click login dot uh, I think I caused some problem so this should be here now write login dot click now clear and click okay I will be just clicking because it is not an entry so well done you have successfully created the login function but also you have to give some time to sleep for our bot uh, suppose two second after uh, after writing every and every entry here because uh, the algorithm of Instagram is very powerful if uh, something like that happens so it automatically detects it as a bot and the account is blocked simple as that now after login also give it some time to sleep uh, so well done you have successfully created it so now I will be skip uh, so let's use this uh, so let's use this uh, function we have just created D uh, sorry login so now I will be skipping up to the next part where the where our browser will be open because I don't want to show my password to all so you can see it has been running so our Firefox has been opened in no time it will open the Instagram it has been opening Instagram right here as you can see now it will also fill up the entries and all those things uh, just stay tuned so it has been yeah and then it will log in so the login was successful we got into our instagram page and well done once again i'm saying follow us on our instagram and subscribe to this channel right now because what's about to come next will completely blow off your hats so thanks for watching our video